never felt before. It was... Just, it felt so real. It was like I was there, but I wasn't. I woke up because I couldn't breathe and I don't know how else to explain it. It's just something I've never experienced before. That's some trippy shit. What movie is it from? It's not from a movie. It was the dream I had last night. That was one heck of a dream then. Exactly, which is why I'm telling you. It didn't feel right for it to be just a dream. There's something else about it, something bigger. Evil. Okay, so it was a bad dream, but it's still just a dream. I don't see why you're so worked up about it. If anything, I guess you can call it a nightmare, but honestly, I think you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting though. I don't I know what I felt. It was real. At least some part of it. Look, it's the first week of October. I know how much you like Halloween and you believe in ghosts and stuff. So maybe you're just excited, and your mind is resting with you while you sleep. It's all in your head. Quite literally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess you're right. My imagination can get a little overactive sometimes. See? You have nothing to worry about. Try going to sleep while listening to some calming music. I'm sure that'll help it. I do it all the time, and I haven't had a bad dream in years. Okay. I'll try that out. Alright, cool. I gotta head out now. I gotta start getting ready for work. So I'll see you at the place, right? Yeah. See you tomorrow.
Where am I? Hello? Ugh. Why can't I move? Madness is not a state of mind. Madness is a place. Alexis! Dude, where the hell have you been? We've been looking for you. Looking for me? Yes, looking for you. That's usually what you do when someone's missing. Missing? Yes, missing. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Alright, come on, get up. Did you hear that? Hear what? Get away! I said get away! No, 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 Alexis, I'm just trying to help you. Don't touch me. Calm down. Get away from me. Running. I find myself constantly running. What am I running from? Most of the time I don't know. You see, there's this hooded figure that keeps reappearing in my dreams. And every time it reappears, I find myself suddenly drowning in a wave of emotion. An emotion so strong that I have no other instinct but to run. What emotion could this be, you ask? Well, simply, it's fear. For some reason, that hooded figure brings fear. So I run away from the hooded figure, just as anyone else would run away from something like that. As I've been running, I've started to think, what exactly am I running from? Am I running from the hooded figure? Or am I running from the fear it brings? What if I'm not running from anything? What if instead of running away from something, I'm running to something? To the answer. To the clarity that the answer will provide me. To the peaceful state of mind that I was once in before any of this began. But when did this begin? I don't know. The one thing I do know, however, is that I have to keep running because if I let whatever is out there catch up to me, who knows what will happen next? Who knows what will become of me? You're probably thinking, Alexis, you're just running from your problems. Stop running. I wish I could. But it's human nature to run from danger. And when you think about it, everyone is in danger. Everybody is running from something. Even you. You're running from something. 
aren't you? You just haven't acknowledged it yet. Hello? Hey, it's Alexis. I'm sorry I couldn't answer your call, but you can go ahead and leave me a voicemail and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Remember, the key word was try. I'm not making any promises. <laughs> At the tone, please record your voice message. When you are finished recording, you may hang up or press pound for more options. Hello? Alexis? Hello? Alexis, I've called you five times already. You know what? This is getting annoying. You can't just leave all of us hanging. How many times do I have to call for you to answer? It's been two weeks. This, this isn't, isn't funny, funny anymore. Everyone's been calling your phone. What do you mean two weeks? I got home. I came to lay down. I took a nap. You know you sound really crazy right now, right? It's been two weeks. How am I sounding crazy? I'm telling you the truth. I got home like an hour ago. I laid down and I took a nap. That's it. I swear. You haven't been here, Alexis. This was the first place we checked when you weren't answering your phone. Where have you been? You were in my house? But we were looking for you. Looking for me or not, you can't just walk into my house and be looking through all of my stuff without my permission. Alexis, we were looking for you. Get out. Are you serious? You're kicking me out? I was the only one from the group that came back to look for you. Stop, stop, stop. You barge in here yelling at me, telling me where have I been, that I've disappeared supposedly. Then you start telling me that I'm crazy and you don't believe a single word that I'm saying. Now you're telling me that you walk into my house and you search through all of my stuff without my permission? Get 
out. I don't know why you're getting mad all of a sudden. Just chill. Get out. Leave. What's happening to me? Where are you from? Why did you choose me? Why? What are you supposed to do? What are you? What's wrong with me? What's happening to me?
Alexis. I'm just calling to apologize. To tell you that you're right. Maybe I am crazy. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I just... I just feel so alone. Like no matter what I do, I can't seem to escape this feeling of emptiness and darkness and fear. I just feel, feel so alone. And you guys are right. I'm crazy. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. There's only one thing that I know, and that's fear. And I, and I want it to end. So I'm sorry. But you guys were right. I'm crazy. I'm insane. But I'm gonna fix everything, okay? I'm gonna make everything better. Don't you worry about me anymore. Cause I'm gonna make everything better. I promise. I promise. I promise.
Darkness. Nothing but darkness. And it's been that way since the very moment that I closed my eyes. I can't feel a thing, and I'm okay with that. It's almost as if a huge weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. Like I'm no longer carrying a burden. Like I'm finally at peace. It's almost as if I'm free. Wait a minute. What's that? In the distance. You see it? What is it? It's getting bigger. It's coming towards me. Wait. Wait, no, no, no. I I'm not ready. This can't be it. No, no, no. This isn't right. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready to be free. Hey, don't sweat it. The doctor says she's gonna be fine. They wouldn't have sent her home if she wasn't okay. That's the thing though, they kept saying that she's fine, that there's nothing to worry about, and clearly she's not. Okay, what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. What? The way you found her? Yes. She was lying there so lifeless. Dude, chill out. She wasn't dying. She was just passed out or something. And she's still unconscious, and none of us know why. Look, I know it's getting to you because you guys got in an argument or something, but Alexa's gonna be all right. Don't beat yourself up about it, okay? It's not your fault. You don't know what happened, though. Yeah, and neither do you. No, you're not understanding. Alexis called me before it happened. I was mad at her for kicking me out, so I didn't answer my phone, but she left me a message. A message? She was a mess. You could hear it in her voice. She was saying something about me being right, about her being crazy, and then something about being alone and scared, and that she was losing her mind. But then at the end of the voicemail... What? What happened? She started sounding like she was laughing a bit, a complete 180. She rambled on about making things better and fixing everything. Coming to think of it, she seemed delirious. The last thing she said was, I promise, and then that was it. The call just didn't feel right after that. It sounded like she might try to hurt herself or something. But she didn't hurt herself. You don't know that. What if she tried to do something and this is why she is where she is right now, huh? Alexis would never. There was a knife on this kitchen table right across from where her body was laying down unconscious. What if she had planned to use that knife, huh? Do you ever think about that? No, I didn't. I would never picture her. The doctor said she was fine. No signs of injury were present. They said that it was a case of exhaustion from insufficient amount of sleep. I know what the doctor said. We just gotta give it time, okay? Alexis will wake up soon. I'm sure of it. Now eat your waffle, it's getting cold. Am I dead? No, no, you are not dead. Not dead. Then where the heck am I? You are nowhere you are physically, nowhere physically, nowhere physically nowhere somewhere, mentally, somewhere, mentally, somewhere, mentally, somewhere mentally. What? You cannot be here. Not be here. You must go back. Go back. Face what? The faceless. The faceless. You mean the 
hooded person. Yes, yes. You must yes, face, you must it, face, face it, it, face it. What do you mean, face? It torments it you because you do not know what it is. What it is. And that fear of not knowing not know is what gives it power it power it power. I don't understand what you're trying to convey here. Stop trying Stop to trying understand. To understand. Stop Just accept. 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 Accept what? Fear. Goodness, you're finally awake. Are you okay? Are you hungry? I said I can make you waffles. Do you want waffles? No, I'm fine. How did I get up here? We brought you up and put you in bed after we found you passed out on the floor. On the floor? I was passed out? Yeah, out cold. You don't remember anything? No. What's the last thing you remember? Um, you, you left my house and then I walked into the kitchen. That's it? That's it. Do you remember anything else, like how you ended up unconscious on the floor? Nah, nothing. Maybe I like stepped on an ice cube or fell and hit my head on something. I don't know. Well, you're awake now and that's all that matters. We can talk to you face to face and we don't have to worry anymore. Face to face? Wait. Face to face? That's it! Wait, what do you mean that's it? That's it! Don't you guys get it? That's, that's it! I need to face my fears, literally. I need to channel all of my fear and get it to show up because that's what it feeds on. Once it's there, all I have to do is give it a face. That's it, I figured it out. Excuse me. Alexis, what are you doing? If any of you guys seen like a medallion or something, it's about this big, probably haunted, I don't know. Um, Lexus? Never mind, found it. What do you think you're doing? I'm gonna go face my fears. Um, yeah, that's great and all, but you literally just woke up from being unconscious for several days. You can't just run off to go face your fears like nothing ever happened. Yeah, she's got a point. We have to make sure you're 100% okay. Guys, I'm fine, okay? I've been running from something for a really long time and I finally figured out how to stop it. Why don't you stay for a couple more days and when you feel better, we'll help you do whatever it is you need to do. I can do this on my own. Thank you guys for taking care of me for the past couple days, but I really gotta do this, right now. Don't follow me. Alexis! Oh my god, it's a compass.
Show yourself. You need to be afraid. You need to be afraid. You it won't show it up won't show until it says that you are afraid. You are afraid. Channel your channel fear. Your channel fear. Your fear. How do I do that? What scares what you? Scares what you? scares you? True fear is psychological. psychological. We do not realize, not realize that, that it, it, is it is there because it is hidden so far so back far in our minds. minds. It underlies, it underlies everything, everything, everything and inhibits, and inhibits you, from you from achieving the things, the things you, want. you want. True fear, True fear is fear, fear of uncertainty, of uncertainty. Fear, of fear of losing control, control. fear of fear loss, loss, and fear, fear of failure. failure. Fear. There you go. There you go. Now channel, channel, it. channel it. Speak, Speak of, your of your fears. I am afraid. I am afraid of the things that I don't know and that I can't understand. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep, going. Keep going. I'm afraid of losing control of my life. <coughs> I'm afraid of failure. And I'm afraid of failing everyone around me. I'm afraid of myself.